What's up, everybody? Jason Moss. To my recording videos. It's Cubase. Cubase is the best. <laughs> Uh, it is I, Jay Moss. This is, I guess, a mix tip. It's a, it's a tip. Um, this has nothing to do with mixing. This is more of a workflow tip, but I think it's super useful. So hopefully you like it. Hopefully you use it. I use this every day. So one thing I like to do at the end of every night is I like to send the bands home with basically where we're at in the record. Um, this helps the artists know what to work on in the morning. Uh, I can listen to them uh, before we get started. Uh, the next day um, and it basically just keeps everybody like up to speed and I think that's really important especially if you're trying to run you know kind of a tighter more efficient session as we know in basically any profession or anything we do in life like time is such a critical asset um, and particularly in the studio environment people are not trying to waste it so I think this is a huge time-saving tool I'm gonna show you really quickly how I structure all my sessions and how I can basically in one click just be like all right the day is over, boop, later, and I can actually leave, and this will be bouncing every song, cut up individually, and automatically upload to all of the people we want it to. That could be the label people, the band people, your girlfriend, I don't know, your mom, doesn't matter. Anyway, this is a huge time saver for me. Hopefully it'll be a huge time saver for you. Not every DAW is gonna support this. As you know, I am a bit of a Cubase fanatic. Uh, but I think you can do this similarly in other DAWs. Uh, anyway, if, if for no other reason to watch this, just check it out so you can kind of see the workflow. Today we'll use a session by a band called Morningside and they are awesome. They are from Virginia and recently came up here. Uh, this was their first professional recording and they killed it. They did super, super well. I guess based on the EP we did, they're already landing like bigger stuff. So gotta like that. With uh, no further ado, let's, uh, let's see how all this works, shall we? Okay, so as you can see, we have all the songs in one single session here. And what we do is after it's tracked, this is our tempo map, here's our time signatures. You can see that I have these these are called cycle markers in Cubase and other DAWs may have something kind of similar, but in Cubase anyway, they're called cycle markers. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna highlight everything that's in the song and scroll down and make sure you grab all the endings and the beginnings and everything. You wanna make sure all that's highlighted. Then you just hit the letter P on your keyboard, or at least that's what you do in Cubase. This will move your range to just encompass everything you've selected exactly. Then we go to our marker track. If you haven't made a marker track yet, right click, add track, boom, 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 marker. And it's gonna be like, uh, add marker track, sure. Um, but we're not doing that because we have DOS marker track. So you have two options for adding markers. And the one we're after is this guy right here, add cycle marker. This is gonna add another one on top of what we've already done. So this will be redundant, but I just wanna show you how it's done. Boom, click, sup. And this is something you should be doing as you're tracking. When you finish cutting the drums for a song or, or whatever it is you start with, do this. Select it, add the cycle marker, and then you can name it. And we can just name this J is okay, I guess. Probs not though. Cool. Arguably that is a better name for that song. Okay, the second component to this is I use Dropbox for this, but just use any cloud storage you hit for me a Windows user Windows E it'll pop up a new folder boom let's go to the Dropbox I keep all my Cubase sessions that are currently active in this Cubase projects folder you can set up your you know subdirectory system in any way that you like however um, I basically have two main things in my Dropbox band files that's prints I make for bands this is the one that bands have access to and in Cubase projects these are all my session files which obviously are huge and the band does not have access to so we'll go into band files and then we'll go down here and we'll find Morningside and we'll go to mixes boom and we could make a folder if we wanted to we could call it you know nightly prints pop that open okay great now that that's created 
we go to file, we go to export, boop, what's up export window, then this is crucial, this little section right here, export cycle markers, um, let's get them all, uh, let's definitely print, J is okay, I guess probs not though, and we can just say morning side, nightly print, um, and then we can do our naming scheme here. And you can kind of organize it any way you want. So typically I'll just put um, the name, which is this part, plus the cycle marker name, which is typically the name of the song. And that's all you really need. And you select your export options. If you want to print them waves, you can. For the nightly prints, I just usually do 320 waves. They don't sound perfect, but for tracking purposes, they sound good. Like you can totally jam them and they sound better than, you know, streaming off Spotify. So. That's kind of it, guys. It's literally like, ready? Here's me. Here's me like, hey, great session. But what am I not cool. Session's over. Boom. File. Boom. Audio mix down. Boom. Name it. Boom. Bounce it. Look at this. It just goes. So, and this is our little guy. He's going. And cycle range number one, this is going to bounce faster than real time. And this is going to bounce all the songs individually. We're just going to let this marinate for a minute here. And then uh, we'll check back in. Uh, and let me see if I can find some cool bumper music or something while this stupidly processes. Okay, and so now that they're printed, check this out. We just go, let's bring up another window here. Hi, all right, Dropbox, boom, 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 band files, boom, 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 morning, boom, side, boom, 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 mixes, nightly prints, boom, boom, boom. What's up? Here they are. All right, see these little green arrows? If you have Dropbox, you know what that means. These have already uploaded because they were uploading as they were printing or the moment one is done, it uploads. And just to show you what it is like if, I don't know, it something isn't done uploading, let's just grab like, Hmm, just a random file here and copy and nightly prints. We'll just paste it in here. So if it's not done printing, I'm sorry, if it's not done uploading, it would be blue. That was brief, I know. Let's try that again. Boom. X blue. Uploaded. If you have reasonably good internet, that's as long as it takes. So I think we should send this off by listening to my favorite song and yours. Uh, J is okay, I guess probs not though. And I don't remember which one this is, but I know it's my favorite. All right, people, with that, we're gonna send it off. Do enjoy, do enjoy this tip.